I heard about Lillianne years ago. I saw her, I think, on a on TV or something. And you know, I've been obsessed ever since. She's made so many stars. Um, I want to be in Lambda real bad because um, I I want to be famous. <laughs> oh yeah, no, but um. I also really want to have fun because that's all that matters. <laughs> I've auditioned nine times and she said that I should stop coming back, but I think that she's just playing hard to get because I'm what they call a late bloomer. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 30. I definitely want him to get the full experience and see if he really wants to be an actor going forward. We are so, so, so proud to be working with Lillian. She is, I mean, she is it, right? She's it. We are obsessed. Have you seen the stars here? My Atlanta, they are beautiful. The talent is packed in the pool. She's strong. Lily, do you need something? Like some water? No, Harvey, do you got them their setups for today? No, not yet. Carl was Car there. You don't have them the setups? Harvey, why don't you make yourself useful and go lose 200 pounds? And Carla, darling, I will say until the day I die, if you do not wear, start wearing a push-up bra, I, I, you're fired. You're just absolutely fired. I mean, who is going to take over when I retire? Who wants to be a star? <laughs> Texas, oh hello Miss Ellie, good to see you again. I'm sure you'll get in. Um, okay, hey baby, good to see you. If you're looking to make that next step into the industry, I highly suggest you do it with Lanza. Without their guidance, I would not have the fulfilling and meaningful career that I have today. I mean, she just really knows how to form um, and guide our children. There was nowhere to go but up, am I right? And up I went. After Lanza, I booked a non-speaking role in a commercial for McDonald's. And then I did background for Hannah Montana. Before this program, my daughter was an outcast. Harvey, leave your rest. Why do you have Lily's Emmy? I'm, I'm gonna give it to her. Oh, uh, since when, Carla? I do that. I've always done that. Ouch. Harvey, you ain't ever even been on TV. It makes sense for me to give it to her. Carla, it was a three-line co-star and you fucking died. It was three lines co-stars and I was featured on the ad for the episode. The only thing you've ever been on is cast recording of Tiger King the musical. <sighs> even then, Joe Exotic wouldn't even fuck you. Well, you know what? That project's gonna be huge hit as soon as we get the fucking rights. Okay, Harvey, you ain't a star. You're suck. You're suck, you little fuck. Go Harvey, Carla, Harvey, let Harvey, go! Dick! <laughs> Take my advice, follow my footsteps, and say well, um, where it will leave you. Okay, now I would like to introduce my administrators, Miss um, Carla O'Brien and Mr. Harvey Clack. Give it up. <laughs> Carla, what do you have for, oh. Oh, it's just the regional Emmy Award that you won when Channel 4 News did a special feature when you coached singer, actress Zendaya. Zendaya, baby, she was a sweetheart. Oh, oh. <laughs> Carla, get away from the stage. Okay. Um, okay, star babies, let's get these auditions started. Ooh. Who wants to be on the Nickelodeon? Okay. <laughs> Who wants to be on Disney Plus? Oh, yeah. What about Netflix? Yeah. Straight yeah. Yeah. The show Deadly Women on the ID channel? Sure. Well, it just so happens I happen to be in a recreation scene on that show. Would y'all like to see it? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. All right, give me a spot. Are you sure we're alone here? <laughs> you silly Billy. I don't usually do this on a first date. Oops. Woohoo! Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! You said your wife was at work! Something has changed within me. 
Something is not the same. I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Did you know I was in the first day of a gender bent cast of Wicked? It's time to try to find gravity. I think I'll try to find gravity. Kiss me goodbye. I'm defying gravity. And you can't bring me down. Yes. Yes.